Hello and welcome back to my channel. In today's tutorial, we're going to learn how to draw this character in Adobe Illustrator. So let's just get started. Let's start with creating a new file. Go to File and New. Let's keep the CMYK 150 ppi and make it custom that is 9 into 6 inches and click Create. First, we'll draw the outlines and then we'll color it to get this illustration ready. So let's do that first. Go to your rectangle tool, right click and click on rounded rectangle. Let's just click and make a rounded rectangle. Let me make this a little wide. And now I'll go ahead and click on my direct selection tool. Click and drag and select these two corners and drag it back in to make it completely round. I'm going to go ahead and take a line segment, click and drag while holding your shift key to make a straight line. So let me just move this line segment a little down because I can see that it has cut the circle part here. So I just want it so that it's somewhere straight down. Hold your shift key and then move it back to make sure it's nicely aligned. Now click and select everything, go to your pathfinder and click on divide. Now this has been divided into two parts but they're stuck together because they are grouped. To ungroup them, click on command or control shift and G and it will ungroup it and now you'll have two parts which you can separate out if you want but we're not going to do that. Now for the bottom part now go back to your direct selection tool click and drag and let's make it a little round as well. I'm just going to go ahead on align and click on center of the page just so that everything is nicely aligned. Let's make the cap. Go to your rounded rectangle tool again and now click and make sure it touches the bottom of the line segment and does not exceed it and make something as big as this. I'll go back to my direct selection tool, hold my shift key and select the top of the cap and then click on unite. So this will make the cap. Now it's time to put some hair out. So I use the pen tool to make this. You can also use your pencil tool or brush tool or any tool if you want, but pen tool is kind of quite easy to make. So click on pen tool. If this is not highlighted, just right click and you can see the pen tool. And make sure you click on this point right here. Click. And then we are going to make some straight lines like this. And then in the end, come back and click here so that it forms one unified object. All right, your hair is also ready. Now it's time to put some eyes. So right click, go to your ellipse tool, click, hold your shift key down and make an eye. And now let's click, hold your option or alt key down, shift key down and drag so that they are right in a straight line. Eyes are ready, but maybe we can just bring this a little inside. All right, now it's time to make a nose. Click on your pencil tool and just draw a U. So I'm just going to click on this. I mean on the U and click on center so that it's aligned. I'm going to click on this and hold shift key and click this and press command or control G to group them. And now we can press align so that get center aligned over here. Since our face is ready, now it's time for neck. Let's right click and go to rectangle tool and make a small neck. Now click on selection tool and make sure it's center aligned. Click on this and the face outline holding your shift key and then unite. So what this does is it brings, brings it to the front. So we're going to send it to the back by pressing command shift and open square bracket. It's time to make the neck and the t-shirt. Let's go back to rounded rectangle and let's just make a t-shirt like this. So this part of the t-shirt is roughly the size of the shape. So I'll just move around so that I can see these pink lines. If you cannot see those, go to window, um, view, and then smart guides, and it should turn up. So let's just click and make sure they are aligned. And now let's make this a little rounded so that it looks much better. All right, but the bottom part, we're gonna fix it because we don't want it rounded. And I think the neck is a little too long. Doesn't it look like that? Probably yes. So I'm just going to move this up a little bit so that it's not that creepy. And let's go ahead and click on ellipse tool so that we have to make a collar. So I'm just going to click and drag to make this and press command shift and open square bracket to send it to back. And I will do the same thing to the rectangle. 
and send it to back so that it looks like a collar. But as you can see, these two parts, they don't exactly look like the same color, but that's okay. We're gonna fix it later when we are trying to color it. All right, so once you have this, now Command C to copy, Command F to paste on top, and now let's click, hold your Option key down, and drag on the side to make a little thicker box. Let's send it to back again, and then reduce the size to make it look like this. So you could leave it like this and it looks like a footballer's uh, sleeve, but we're gonna change it. So click on that and go to your direct selection tool. Now click on this and hold your shift key and click on this and now click and drag outside so that it forms a proper edge. So I'm gonna try and make one more thing that is right click rectangle and make a rectangle very close to this. I'll just click on center so that it's like this and we're going to send this back as usual. Now we need to make hands, again a rectangle. Click. And it should kind of coincide with the bottom of the shirt. And then let's make the center again and send it to back. All right, now let's convert the shirt. Click, hold your shift key down and click and select both of these things and make it a complete square. All right, so our body is ready. We can put some pockets. You could also put some buttons here if you want. So we could do buttons in this round, I guess. Let's just do buttons. Hold your shift key and make a round. And then make sure you put it in the center because buttons are usually in the center. Option key or Alt key down, click, hold shift and drag to make copy. Our uh, basic structure is already ready. Let's just look at that, this is how it looks. And now it's time to color that. So let's just pick a few colors that we want. So let me just put them here so that it's easy and convenient. All right, our colors are all ready, so let's just start this thing. So let's start by coloring the hat. Let's click on it, and now you want to color it this one. So press I and color this. So if you just randomly choose the color, make sure you Disable the stroke for this because we don't want the black outline to draw inside the hat. This is what we have done. So let's go ahead and do that. Now click on this and here you can see three options. The draw normal, draw behind and draw inside. So we are going to click on draw inside. So just to let you know, once you draw inside, that's kind of a final. So I'm just going to go to my circle tool and click and drag to make a circle. And here I'm just going to choose this color and then I'll go ahead and go to my rectangle tool and I'm going to make a rectangle right at the base of this. So what this draw inside tool does is it just draws inside the object selected. So here you can see it's not drawing anywhere out. So it's easy to make shapes and then not worry about it. So you can do this and then turn around or make it a little more like this and move this. So yeah, so it kind of covers it like that. Now let's go back to our normal, draw normal. I'll click outside and it's time to color the hair. So click on the hair and let's just put this. And now as you know, we have to create a shadow for this. So I'm just gonna click on this, hold my option key down, click and drag it a little bit so that it forms a shadow to right side like this. Now we'll give it a different color. So double click on this and just move this a little bit down so that it becomes darker color and click OK. Now we can see it's darker, but it's on the hair. So we're gonna send it back by pressing Command or Control and then pressing the Open Square button until it goes behind the red hair. So next up is face. So click on this face and let's color it with this color. That looks fine. And now it's time to add some shadows to it. So I'm just going to my pen tool. I'll just scroll in here and click on this point, this point, this point and back at this point and here this one i'm going to press i on my keyboard and select this color that's a tiny little shadow let's go back and for this one again make the color of the shadow so that the neck kind of blends in and let's color these eyes let's just switch this up and cancel the stroke the face is not complete yet because we have to add some cheeks so right click circle click and hold your shift key and make a circle. I'm just gonna bring it right below the eye to make sure I know how big of a circle I want it to be. 
gonna click on this and select this color but it's too dark on the skin so I'll just select it go to my transparency tool again window and then transparency and then reduce it to make it about 60% that should be fine now click hold your option alt key hold your shift key and drag so that it comes below this eye as well but we need the eyes to be in the front so click on the eyes come on shift and close square bracket so that the eyes are in the front next let's go to the t-shirt and we're gonna color it the normal blue and let's go to the one behind it and we're gonna make it the darker version of blue if you don't have the darker version of blue you can just select the same blue and then come here double click on it and drag it down a bit so that it becomes darker blue like this we'll do the same thing here and press this one and for the hands I'm going to go ahead and give it a normal white you can change the skin tone to anything you want and then let's add a little bit of shadow to it so go ahead and create a rounded rectangle and let's just do it so that it should not cross this bottom line and here it should be a little thinner and I'm going to give the color darker one and I'm, I will send it to back and bring it just so that it is in front of the arms and it forms like a shadow now for the buttons you could give any color let's just give it the color of the hat and as you know every button has a shadow so I'm just gonna click on this all three holding shift key click hold your optional alt shift and then bring it down a little maybe remove the shift and bring it on the side a little we're gonna change this color let's make it darker okay it's on the top so we're gonna send it to back you can see there's a button over there we have done everything except the last part that is the making the circle so I'm just gonna click on this and place it here now I'll go to my layers again window and then layers and click on new let's lock this one and drag this and put it at the bottom now we're gonna go to our ellipse tool click and make an ellipse so I'm just going to drag this don't worry about the color right now so that it covers this edge here and as well as this edge and now let's we have to chop this thing off here so I'm just going to my rectangle tool click and you can see this pink line trying to help you out click and drag and it makes a rectangle first go to your selection tool now hold your shift key and select both and go to pathfinder and click on divide and it makes this beautiful thing so now you can change the background of this by changing it to this color and your character is ready you can modify these things to look more cuter you can make longer hair you can make more designs on the cap I put something else here and you can also add a little note down here if you're using it for something like a card or something like a thank you so yes this is it so basically this is how you create this cute little boy in illustrator i hope you like this video and uh, let me know if you did and let me know if you have any questions please like and subscribe to my channel and i hope i'll see you again soon bye bye